good at fit to do And this is true in 2010. That's why the legacy of Martin Luther King changed, which is one of learning to love people. Beginning, that goes up the 25th chapter of Matthew with the least of them. You begin with the poor, you begin with the children, you begin with the prisoners, you begin with the elderly, you begin with those pushed to the margin, the physically handicapped, you begin with our indigenous brothers and sisters on reservation. And that's why all of us fall short. Martin Luther King Jr. understood that line of Samuel Becker's last great Work with cold fiction. Try again, fail again, fail better. <laughs> Try again, fail again, fail better. He has only three points of the hard and then the trying the best is not our business. What kind of human beings will we be? What does it really mean to be human? This is you all know the English word human derives from the Latin humando, which means burial. That's where humanity and humility as terms come from. Burial. Because each and every one of us are vanishing creatures headed toward death. We're disappearing creatures in space and time. We all have a death set within space and time. No one gets out of space and time alive. So Brother Mark, you can hear his voice down to the corners of time. What does it mean to be a featherless, two-legged, linguistically conscious creature born between yearn and feces? You buried out of your mama's womb and know the first day you're born, you're old enough to die, and your body will be the culinary delight of terrestrial worms one day. And this shout for cremation. Oh, that's Mark. I thought we don't like the language too long with my Mark. He's not talking about your career, he's talking about what you're calling is. He's not just talking about your profession. He's talking about what your vocation is. He's not talking about your day job. He's talking about what your life task is. He's not talking about how many commodities and possessions you have. He's talking about what is the quality of your service to others. What's the depth of your love to others? What is the benchmark of how you understand yourself to be in your move from your mama's womb to tomb? Who you gonna be in the meantime?
If you don't deal with spiritual malnutrition, you're going to end up wrestling with moral constipation. All those folks who just know what's right and get stuck and can't get it out. Just morally constipated. They know what's good, but it's just stuck. They can't get it out. Too much greed. Too much jealousy. Too much envy. Too much addiction. Too much sex. Too much obsession. And what the fuck else is going on? Morally constipated. Kind of love is going on. You don't fuck in the mouth. Once that love gets inside of you, get a little ethical diarrhea. Welcome to the Atlanta Knights Casino, Vegas style. Brought to you by Prominent Partners, LLC. On Friday night, January 29, 2010, we're having a fabulous time at the prestigious 191 Club in downtown Atlanta. We're gonna mix and mingle and enjoy Vegas style games such as blackjack, roulette, poker, and the famous crap table. And you can play for chances to win prizes, vacations, getaways, upscale artwork, and more. Enjoy live entertainment by jazz ensemble Pure Sounds, accompanied by the special guest vocalist Kimba Cofield. Now the night wouldn't be complete without giving to a great cause, would it? So proceeds from the event will go towards the Trumpet Awards Foundation and Living Unity Inc. 
We hope that you'll accept our invitation for a night of fun, music, and gaming for a good cause at the Atlanta Knights Casino, Vegas style, where everyone's a winner.